And welcome back everybody and today we are going to learn how to work with the IFF system within the DCS F4E Phantom 2. So stick around. Alright, so like I mentioned in the intro, we're going to learn how the IFF system operates. And if you're not already aware, IFF stands for Interrogate Friend or Foe. This is one of the electronic systems on board the aircraft that can help you tell a friend from an enemy. This system is one of the tools that you have on board to help sort out friendly contacts from potentially hostile targets. That way you don't engage the wrong targets. The IFF system consists of two separate components. You have a transponder and an interrogator. So there's a few different things that can interrogate aircraft to figure out their status, and it's not just limited to fighter aircraft. You have units such as ships, air traffic control, AWACS, and other fighters, like the F-4 and more of the modern stuff as well, definitely have this capability. So the item that you have in order to respond to those interrogations or reply is the transponder which is low and the control for it is located in the front cockpit it's on the right console and it is the iff control head which is right here now part of your cold start procedure is you want to after you get power on the aircraft you want to put this master mode knob into normal and definitely verify that your mode 4 switch is set to on and then and this is set on by default but it never hurts to check and this control head is very common in a lot of the aircraft so like the f-14 the a-10 the f-5 there's a few aircraft that have that control head and that is for the transponder which transmits a response to an interrogation all right so that's that half of the IFF system in the F-4 Phantom. Now for the really important part of it, and that's the interrogator, because this aircraft does feature it, and that is in the back seat. So let's go check that out. All right, now here we are in the back seat of the Phantom, and for simplicity of the video, I'm just gonna take the boot off of the radar, just so I can see the whole scope. All right. So we zoom in here and our main IFF control and there's no extra switches this part is built into the radar in the Phantom and it is this forward button on the radar hand control stick that little guy right there so that is your control on how to interrogate a target using the radar all right now if we look here on my radar screen I can see we have four targets coming towards me now the way I have this mission set up, one of these is a friendly and using that little interrogate button, this is what we should see and if you are flying in the front seat, uh, you, you can see the exact same thing that is on this scope on your display and it's either if you're flying with a human Rio or Jester. So we push the interrogate switch. Aha. You see those little, uh, those thin bars that just appeared above one of the targets? That is a positive IFF response, and it lasts for about five seconds or so. And if you want to do another interrogation, you can. So, this guy right here is definitely a friendly. These other three are a maybe. I want to emphasize this, especially if you are one to join in on player versus player servers. The absence of an IFF return does not automatically make it a hostile. If somebody forgot to turn on their transponder, you're not going to get an IFF return from them. You want to use some other means to verify that that is indeed a hostile like an AWACS report or another another uh, friendly unit saying yes that is a bad guy now this is this is what you'll see whenever you're scanning now if you lock a target uh, like so we got a good closure rate let's make sure aft 
Yep. Target's closing at us at 390 knots. You can hit the interrogate button, and but in this case, you'll get thinner bars. They won't be, or they won't be as wide, I should say. Now, if we lock one of the other guys, let's see, where'd, he, where'd he go? There he is. Let me range down the radar real quick. It's 25 miles. There we go. Interrogate and no response. No response. Now notice that I was locked onto this target, but I still got a reply from this. Now let me elevate the radar above the targets here. Notice how they dropped off the screen for the most part. But the IFF system isn't uh, isn't as narrowly focused as the radar beam. If I interrogate, look at that. I get a reply out of thin air, even though I don't have a radar contact. This can be a useful scanning tool. So even if you don't have a contact on your radar display, you may still get a IFF return. The, the signal on it isn't as tightly focused as the radar beam. So that's something to be mindful of as well. So this is how you can tell friend from fro, or, or in this case, a definite friend from maybe an enemy. So there's something to emphasize, especially if you fly in multiplayer environments. Anyway, that, that's pretty much it as far as the IFF system in the Phantom goes. It's pretty simple and it's very well done. And it's very similar to how it works on the Tomcat. Except for in the Tomcat's case, only the Rio can see this this way that gives the uh, IFF response. You can't see that as a pilot. Alright everyone, hope you guys found that enjoyable and useful, especially for those of you that enjoy flying in multiplayer environments. Definitely useful so you don't engage a friendly unit and shoot down another, uh, another player. So, with that... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.